just a few yards from the school are the Hackney Marshes. And it was here that Elliot Rowe made history. In July 1909, he took off in his now famous bullseye triplane and made the first ever sustained flight in Britain by an all-British machine. Rowe flew 300 yards across the marshes in a plane he'd made out of brown paper and wood that he tied together with piano wire. His workshop underneath the railway arches is the scene of considerable local pride among his young admirers. The children often visit the now desolate marshland to remember their hero. When, when A.V. Rowe was here, he actually had covers down the front. In his honour, they've decided to build their own replica of Rowe's triplane. The scale model is already well underway and has become the focal point of the school project. And it's not a task they've found at all difficult. It's really a matter of just enabling the children to do it. They are capable of, of an awful lot if there's just a little bit of preparation put in. I mean, the displays around the room are done more by them than me. Um, they mount their work and display it. it. It just saves me being here till half past six every night. A.V. Rowe later went on to found the company that built the famous Lancaster bombers. And a few years later came the Vulcans, which soared back into the headlines so recently when they were brought out of retirement to bomb the airfield at Port Stanley. Many people, including the children, feel Rowe deserves more recognition for the crucial first achievements he made in Hackney. It was unfortunate for him that his historic first flight was superseded by a famous French aviator, Louis Blériot. He flew right across the Channel just a week later in a blaze of publicity that eclipsed Rowe's more modest feat. The children want to redress the balance. They've written to numerous bodies ranging from the Royal Aeronautical Society to the local council. They want a special blue plaque on the railway arches. But so far, they haven't raised much enthusiasm. When we went to the GLC and all that, they, they, they didn't have much response. They had a bit of response, but they sometimes they just said that they take a few years to get the blue plaques up. They all wrote back, giving us, you know, replying with very polite letters, but somehow I didn't think they were taking it very seriously because the idea was coming from children. The children, however, won't give up that easily. After six months of study, they and their teachers are keener than ever to promote Rowe's achievements in Hackney. We think that it's a very famous event. It's the first British pilot to fire a British aeroplane. And um, <coughs> it will be something of considerable pride for Hackney, I think, and for the local people. And, um, you know, there's only one blue plaque in Hackney, and Hackney is often thought of as, uh, you know, the poor end of town, and it's really, you know, a place of a lot of history and, uh, and great interest. <laughs>